As a nonprofit in Anderson County, their goal is to make sure that no child is homeless. Our Ellie Bird shows us how they're getting families off the streets, they hope, for good. Our big concentration is families with children. Um, the, we have a lot of homeless families in Anderson County, unfortunately. So we have a motto that no child sleeps outside and we're working very hard to make that come true. The Tennessee Outreach Center for Homeless, or TORCH, is a nonprofit that started in 2013. Since then, they've found homes for around 400 families. So we meet with folks that are out on the street. We assess what their barriers are to getting into housing, and then we try and help them remove any of those barriers. Oftentimes, especially with families with children, the biggest issue that we have is trying to figure out a place for the children to go immediately. Torch places the families in duplex style homes rather than a shelter where they house up to nine families until they find permanent homes. If we're going to end the homelessness in 2030, we need to start with the children and the situations that they're in right now. The children can get in a mindset where they think of themselves as this is as far as I can go. They see how far their parents go and they think my parents are in poverty and so that's as far as I'm going to be able to go. What we wanted to do was we wanted to create an environment where children would not even know that they were homeless. Since there are no homeless shelters in Anderson County, homeless families had to go to a shelter in Knox County or be placed in communal living facility. Torch wants to keep families together and in their own safe space. My favorite part is when we move a family into housing and the kids are running around the apartment complex or they're running around the house and they're deciding who gets to stay in which room and they're like moving in their beds and setting up their bunk beds. It's a lot of fun to watch the, the kids move into a new home. Torch has been able to operate on private donations alone. They hope to expand their resources to even more areas soon. In Oak Ridge, I'm Ellie Bird, WVLT News. If you want to donate or volunteer for Torch, the information in the WVLT News app for you.